Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today I am happy to show you a new entrant into my kitchen that is my new appliance, the solar air fryer. Over the recent years, air fryers have made their entry into many uh, kitchens of many households. I have also had a look at air fryers when I, when I went shopping but uh, although I was interested, something held me back. I was a little skeptical. I said, see what I normally do is traditional cooking and more so pure vegetarian cooking. Baking is very rare. Uh, cookies or cakes, maybe once or twice a year I might indulge in baking and not as a regular use. So whether an air fryer would be useful to me, that was the question uppermost in my mind. Then later on when I read up more on it, I found that air fryers can do a variety of things. You can grill, toast, uh, roast, bake also do many many things. And it uh, the principle is that hot air flows at a great speed through this and it is almost just like a convection oven but a very uh, cute tabletop model which does not occupy much space is not very heavy and the maintenance and easy to clean also so i said now let me see how i can use this air fryer in my everyday cooking only then it will be worth the purchase isn't it so now i'll share with you whatever recipes i have tried and i found that it is really good in the sense that we can enjoy uh, fried foods at the same time using nearly 85% less oil just with one teaspoon or half a teaspoon oil also whereas otherwise we would have used larger quantities of oil this is the large air fryer and it uh, comes with a flying basket like this and a very convenient uh, wooden handle so before starting the recipe I will just quickly show you about the working we just switch it on and um, we have to switch on the power here you have it switches on by default at 180 degrees and this way here this is the time and this is the temperature you can increase or decrease the setting see here or increase it it goes in steps of 5 Similarly, this side you have the time settings you can decrease it or increase it like this a digital screen just with the help of a touch button you can easily operate apart from this it has also preset modes so this is the m you can see here we also have preset modes if you press the button meat shrimp fish chicken fries and after I bought the air fryer, I was wondering which recipe to make first and then it was uncle's farmaish. He said, you please make something with sweet potato. Uncle is a great fan of uh, sweet potato. Made in any form, he loves it. So that's why today I am going to make a simple sweet potato roast. Typical South Indian style or Tamil Nadu style, Sakralika and the roast. So this is the sweet potato. I have washed it very well. Peel, cut it into cubes now drain it out from the water and just keep it on a clean cloth and just pat it dry transfer it to a bowl and now we'll add all the uh, dry ingredients some haldi powder that is turmeric powder salt chili powder this i'm using kashmiri chili powder which is not very spicy a little bit of hing or asafoetida and next just mix everything well together Now I am just adding 1 teaspoon of oil, that's all and we will just 
I'll just transfer this to my air fryer basket and uh, bake it at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, just brush it with a little bit of oil. We can add some curry leaves also to this. Toss it around and put it back. And place it back again. Now we will just uh, bake it for 3 minutes the time is over now let's check our sweet potato wow yes see lovely sweet potato roast not sticking to each other with a lovely crispy exterior and softness inside now we can remove it into our serving bowl our curry leaves are also nice and crisp see i can show you a one piece lovely crisp on the outside i'll cut it and show i wish i could make you all taste it too see soft on the inside very very tasty and best part is we get the perfect end result with using absolutely minimal oil we just use one teaspoon and a little bit for brushing that's all the delicious sweet potato roast is a great combination with curd rice or even with rasam rice you can have it so have some rice and rasam or just curd rice and sweet potato roast and lovely meal. and the next recipe is stuffed brinjal a great delicacy in a south indian traditional recipes let's see how to make it in our air fryer for this first we need to make a masala for the stuffing just heat a teaspoon of oil and two tablespoons of dhania or coriander seeds two teaspoons of chana dal two dry red chilies fry all these spices till the dals are well browned next add in a little bit of hing or asafoetida and finally some fresh grated coconut we can add about uh, one fourth cup if you don't have fresh coconut you can use dry coconut powder also just give it a stir for half a minute fry all the items together well now you can switch it off when it comes down to room temperature transfer it to your mixy jar add some salt Add a little bit of tamarind paste. If you don't have tamarind paste, you can add just a tamarind pulp also. Now, don't add water. Just grind it into a powder. Now, for making stuffed brinjal. So, here we have the, we choose small size brinjals preferably for this dish. And washed it very well. And just slit it like this into four. Don't remove the stock. Keep it ready. Now our masala stuffing is ready. Just with clean washed hands, stuff this masala into the brinjal like this. This way we can even check if the brinjals are of good quality. Likewise, you stuff all the brinjals and keep ready. We can place them directly in this basket 
but i would like to use these uh, non stick liners from audi eco bake for use in air fryers because it helps in uh, clean up later you can just use the paper and this uh, your plate will not become messy this is a perforated liner which you can just uh, place here this has got holes in it so it will allow the hot air to circulate in our traditional kind of cooking for making these uh, stuffed brinjals in a kadai we would have had to use a considerable quantity of oil but in this air fryer we just brush it with oil that's it you can just brush it with oil like this and place it here we have used less than half a teaspoon of oil not even that we have just brushed it with oil and we have arranged it here now we'll just place this uh, basket in the pan we'll cook it at 180 degrees for 10 minutes one minute is remaining now and after the completion of this final one minute you will get a beep sound a long beep sound which mean it is done now we heard the beep sounds it's done now let's remove it and see wow lovely stuffed brinjals with very very minimal oil now be careful this will be very hot so handle it carefully you can use tongs to pick it out like this see how well it is done a great accompaniment either for rice or chapati See I have experimented different temperature and time settings for my recipes you can also do so similarly remove it at 8 minutes check it if you feel it needs one more minute then you can just put it back for one more minute and uh, cook it again so depending on the your air fryer and depending on what kind of food you like you can adjust the temperature and time all of us love to eat fried foods and even if you are living abroad when you come back home to hyderabad what do you look for the ever popular mirchi bhaji that is the stuffed mirchis made with this uh, kind of mirchi or uh, peppers so they stuff them with the potato stuffing and then it is uh, dipped in some uh, gram flour batter and deep fried in oil very very delicious but today we are going to use the same recipe without deep frying for the stuffing i have just taken three potatoes boiled and peeled them and kept ready we can Just uh, roughly crumble them like this. Next, I am just taking one teaspoon of oil in a pan. When the oil is hot, I am adding some jeera, that is cumin seeds. Next, some haldi powder, a little bit of chili powder, salt. a little bit of hing hing or asa for tea just fry this masala as well next we'll add in this boiled peeled and the mashed potatoes to this just cook it for one or two minutes till the potatoes and all the masala are blended well and just keep it in water to make it pretty soft the stuffing is done and ready we can switch this off i'm just going to add about very little quarter teaspoon of this uh, tamarind paste to it if you don't have tamarind paste you can add tamarind pulp fresh tamarind pulp or tamarind juice that's also fine you get a lovely tangy salt spicy very delectable taste just take it out on a plate and allow it to cool now we can get our mirchis ready i have washed and wiped them well just 
make a slit in the mirchi like this open it out if you want to make them less spicy just remove this uh, white portion and the seeds in it the seeds are the ones which really add to the spiciness Our stuffing is ready. Our mirchis are slit and ready. Now let's make the batter for the outer coating or covering. So for that, I am taking two tablespoon of besan or gram flour. I am adding one tablespoon of rice flour. Add some salt to this. This is ajwain or carom seeds. See whenever we eat anything with besan or fried foods, this helps in the digestion. So you add this as well. We already have spice from the mirchi, so just a little bit of chili powder, not much. First, mix all the dry ingredients together. Now, when you add water, normally when we deep fry it in oil, we'll make a thin batter with more water. But now, because we are frying it in the air fryer. We need to make a thicker batter, so add water little by little. See, the batter is also ready. Take out a portion of the stuffing and fill it in this slit uh, mirchis. So all our budgies are stuffed and ready. Now just uh, beat the batter well. You can add a little bit more of flour if you feel it is too thin. This is a better consistency. Now we can just coat this mirchi budgi with this batter. Place it in this air fryer basket. Here again, I have kept the liner in the the perforated uh, liner air fryer liner in the basket. Then we place this we'll first cook it at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. I have taken it out after 10 minutes. We are not used any oil remember so just brush it with oil now because it has become a bit dry you can even flip it over like this so that the underside also gets a uniform crispness we will put it back into the air fryer this time we will cook it for at uh, 200 degrees for 3 minutes it is ready now carefully we can remove it with tongs remember it is very hot so don't allow children near it see our lovely mirchi bajis or mirchi vadas are done and ready they also serve it as cut mirchi so we can even cut it and show you see you have your very very lovely cut mirchi bhaji see, tasty mirchi bhaji with the potato stuffing inside so you are enjoying mirchi bhaji uh, air fried actually it's not fried we have only circulated hot air over it and you get very good taste and along with the air fryer, I also got this uh, lovely recipe book with about uh, 15 different recipes in different languages. So we can try out. In 
in addition once you register you also get a 100 recipes ebook so you can try out everything see today all of us we want we are very health conscious youngsters also especially because of their stress many people uh, irrespective of age have the problems of overweight obesity or hypertension or high cholesterol and a common factor for all this is to reduce the amount of fried foods which are eating so reduce the consumption of oil yes but who wants to eat boring uh, stuff we miss all those fried foods and that lovely taste which we get so then this way you can enjoy their taste with 85 percent or even less minuscule amount of oil they all taste good sometimes when you make a bhajiya or something you might feel that the texture is slightly drier than what you would do when you deep fry it you just adjust your timing and temperature so you get as close to that taste as possible uh, for me, I have been totally hooked on to this. As I told you, initially I was very very skeptical. But now this has become my close companion in the kitchen. And every day I am thinking of new ways to use this air fryer. I have tried out many other combinations of recipes too. Uh, some gulab jamun, some chivda and so many other recipes. So if you are interested in uh, knowing those two, please tell me. And definitely I must make a mention of the tech support team. So whenever I had any problem and I rang them up, they were very helpful, very friendly and polite and ready to help me out. For those of you who are interested, this air fryer is available in two sizes, large and extra large. Large is 3.5 liters, extra large is 5.5 liters. This is large, that is 3.5 liters. And the price is 5499 and uh, for extra large it is 699 I'll give you all the details about the price and sizes both in the description box and uh, below the video. Also you can uh, use my link which I have given over there when you want to purchase the product from their website and use the coupon code GITA G -I -T -A, to avail a discount. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.